Hi, I'm Dennis Begden, CEO of Semio. Thanks for joining this tutorial on adding logic with add-on processes. Add-on processes are a very unique and powerful capability of Semio that allows you to customize the objects you place in your model. To illustrate how this is done, I'm going to bring up Semio, and this is a model that we built earlier of the TV and adjustment inspection problem. We have TVs arriving, going through an adjustment process, then an inspection process, and then we use link weights to send the entity to either the sink, those that pass inspection, or 10% of them are sent around for readjustment. Now what we'd like to do is, with our add-on processes, is we'd like to have our failed TVs turn red on the top as, until they come around and readjust it, and then turn back green again. So to do that, uh, first of all, we're going to drag the default entity out. And this is just the entity that, by default, will be moving through the model. I'm going to add an additional symbol to it. Now, what, what we've just done is we'll, we can have as many symbols as we want to represent an entity. And in this case, we have two. And I'm going to take symbol index 0, symbol index 1. I'm going to make index 1 the active one at this point. And I'm going to color the top of it red. So if, if I look at the symbol list, you'll see symbol index 0 is green, and symbol index 1 has a red top. Now, to change between these two symbols, we're going to use add-on processes. So let me go to the process window. I'm going to create two processes. And both are very simple. Both just have an assign step. Let's rename the first process good part. and rename the second process bad part. Okay, now the assign in the first process, we're going to make an assignment to the state variable called picture on model entity. And it's just going to be set to the default value of 0, so that this will set the picture to picture index 0. On the second assign, we're going to also assign to the same state variable, model entity picture. Only we're going to set this one to picture index 1. So what we have here are two different processes. The first process sets the picture to, to the green picture, index 0. The second one sets it to the red, index number 1. So let's go back to our model and see how we use those processes. If I click on this link, we have this section called add-on processes, add-on process triggers. And what these are are just points in time in an entity's movement through the link that you can run some custom process of your choice. So what we'd like to do is whenever the link is first entered, we'd like to run the process called bad part. Then we're going to do something similar over here on this link. Whenever this link is entered, we're going to run the process good part. So the, the bad part process is going to set us to the red symbol, and the good part process is going to set us back to the green symbol. So let's run this. And as, as we see, we have our green triangles moving through. If, whenever we get a failure, it comes around as a red symbol, remains red until it comes through here. So that's just a very quick example of how we, we can use add-on processes to add custom logic to our objects. Again, this is a very powerful concept, and you can use it for many other reasons. For example, you could seize resources, release resources, wait for uh, an event to happen, whatever. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and we hope you continue watching more. If you have any questions or would like an online demonstration of the product, please give us a call. Thank you.